May we hear those figures, Mr. Snedgrid, uh, at your pleasure? Uh, certainly, Mr. Groper. Well, gentlemen, after 17 years of existence, the Amalgamated Mercantile Society's books show the startling figures of a liability of £3,200, 8 shillings and tenpence, and a total asset of £11, 8 shillings and tenpence. Well, at least the tenpences cancel each other out. How much of this is the company's capital? All of it, Mr. Rosebed. In short, sir, you're not only a bankrupt, you're an embezzler of the company's funds. I also beat my wife and skewer innocent babies when in my cups. Take a very cool attitude, if I may say so, sir. So do Mr. Scrooge and Mr. Marley. They're not facing prosecution for a capital offence. Oh, but gentlemen, it could have been any one of you. We're all cutthroats under this fancy linen, Mr. Snedrig. I must ask you to speak for yourself, Mr. Jorking. Oh, what would you gain to prosecute me? All you'd get out of it is about 11 pounds on. And to pack me off to Botany Bay would be poor compensation for the panic that would arise among the shareholders. Panic, sir? Yes, panic. Would any of you gentlemen care to deny that if this juicy little scandal leaked out now, the annual shareholders' meeting would resemble an orchestra of scorched cats? Result? Bankruptcy all round. Strike that speech out of the minutes. Yes, sir. Mr. Joking doesn't exaggerate the imprudence of allowing his misdemeanors to be made public. Are you in sympathy with Mr. Jorkin by any chance, Mr. Scrooge? Not, I confess, with his methods. But Mr. Marley and I have a proposition to make to the representatives of the company, which might solve some of the difficulties to our general advantage. The devil you have. You want to watch these two fellows, you know. They'd skin Jack catch alive and he'd never know they'd done it. Can we hear the proposition? I have a spokesman. Mr. Marley and myself are prepared to make good out of our own private resources. Some of money appropriated by Mr. Joking. <laughs> Reprieved. Reprieved. Curfew shall not ring tonight, Mr. Snedry. Order, order. In return, we wish to be allowed the option of buying up further shares in the company to a maximum of 51% of the total. In short, gentlemen, if you wish to save the fair name of the company by accepting their generous offer, ha, they become the company. Never, never. Out of the question. Never. Fifty. Out of the question, and also out of order, Mr. Scrooge. 